Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the AutoCraft plugin. I covered this plugin a few years back but it's gone through some major changes and is a lot better now. Now it's not only auto crafting using this device over here but we've got auto enchanting, we've got uncrafting and or analyzing where you can have a chance to take cobblestone and turn it into diamonds and it's uh, around 5%. So let's go ahead and start with the auto crafter. Now if you want to craft this you need all these crafting blocks, eight of them, and then one block of redstone in the middle. What we have over here is a nice little hopper setup. So all of the crafted recipes will end up in the bottom and then you put the ingredients in the top. So if we right click the auto crafter, we've got an overflow inventory. We've got the intern inventory, if you put too many items in the top. This is where we would choose what item we want to craft. So I'm gonna choose golden axe. You can see I was playing around with this earlier. And you can even search for an item if you want in chat like this. And then anything with the word axe in is gonna pop up here. So golden axe is what we are choosing. And then up at the top, we can right click, pop in some ingredients, so sticks and gold ingots. And then down at the bottom, it is going to start automatically crafting. So that's how the auto crafter would work. The auto enchanter is very simple. It only has two, the intern inventory and overflow. And then up at the top, if you were to pop in, say, an item and then an enchantment, down at the bottom, we are going to get that. And then we have the good old uncrafter. So up at the top, if I were to put in, say, block of gold, it's going to come down and it's going to turn into gold ingots and gold nuggets. And then finally, we have the ore analyzer. Now, when you place one of these down or any of these automatic items down, you need to connect the hoppers by right clicking them and it should say in chat connected hopper if it doesn't say that it may not work so just double check that and then up at the top we can pop in some cobblestone that's going to go through and it's going to throw out dirt and there's going to be a five percent chance that we get a diamond from it and there we go you can see we are now getting some diamonds and we got 10 out of maybe 130 so that is what the last one does. Now, if you want to craft any of these, you can see here is the ore analyzer recipe, just tons of anvils, so that's quite a lot to uh, produce that. This one's diamond blocks and then redstone in the middle, but still a very handy device. And then the auto enchant is obsidian surrounded um, an enchanting table. So there's only a few commands. If you do forward slash auto craft get, and then you have the four blocks that you can choose from, that's a much easier way to get them if you don't want to craft them. And then obviously we can do the auto craft reload if you've changed anything in the config file. But apart from that, that is how you would use it in game. A really cool and handy plugin. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.19. I was using 1.20 and it was working great. And here you can see those four recipes that we looked at. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.